Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I will walk you through seven mistakes that you should avoid in your writing when you're writing your HTML code. Some of these we all know, but we still make those mistakes. I hope after this particular episode, you will understand what mistakes to avoid when writing your own HTML code. Let's get started. The first and the foremost thing that I see is the missing doc type. Doc type declaration is not just a tag, but it informs the browser about the type of the document that, that it is expecting or how it should render. So make sure that every HTML page should have a doc type defined. That's the golden rule for all web pages. The second common mistake that I see is that there are no closing tags. Apart, but apart from few exceptions, all tags must be closed. If possible, as a good practice, use the self-closing tags for those where you don't have a closing tag. But all HTML tags should have an opening and a closing tag. For example, if you see a UL open here, it should have a closing UL. If you see a list li, it should have a closing li tag. So the golden rule again is for every HTML tag that you open, it should have a closing tag. The third one is the missing alt attributes. So this is a common mistake that I see in the code, which really hurts the SEO, which is the search engine optimization. All images should have an alt attribute to describe them. That gives a meaning for image indexing and it also gives the context to the search engines about what the image is about. So make sure that whenever you are adding any image tag in your code, you also provide the alt attributes. Now this is something that should be guided by the architects to the junior developers, which is about the information architecture, right? How you place the blocks, how you write the code, that depends. And this is something that you would learn with practice, with experience. But remember the golden rule that always place the inline elements should be inside, nested inside block elements, right? That's the golden rule. So what are the block elements like div, span, and then inline you can add like list or li, etc. So placing block elements inside inline elements is incorrect. Remember that it's not wrong. It will still display the page, but it is the wrong way of writing code. Always look out, look for the semantic information structure first and then the CSS. Now bold and italics tags. Now this is something that used to be good, say five years back, right? But ever since we have HTML five, do not use the, the bold or italic tags. Instead, prefer using strong and EM, which means they are interpreted as important and emphasized by the browser. So whenever you want to bold something, either do it in the CSS or use the strong tag. If you want to make it italic, try emphasized EM. Now, this is yet another thing that I see, which is the incorrect use of ID attribute. An ID attribute in the page is a unique identifier so that you can apply that only one element in the page. You can't have multiple elements having the same ID attribute on the same page. Let me repeat it again. It's a bad practice to have the ID attribute for multiple elements. Okay, you can't have the same ID for multiple elements. But if you still want to style or something, prefer using classes. Classes can be assigned to multiple tags or multiple elements in the page, the same page. Now, the next one is if you are using a JavaScript framework, you must include a no script tag to display something if a user has disabled JavaScript. Now, this is a purely a check to make sure that the end user's browser has the JavaScript enabled. If it is not, probably give a message and say that, hey, JavaScript is disabled, please enable it, etc. 
Otherwise, the users would just see a blank page and that's not really a good experience. So the golden rule is whenever you're using a JS framework, always try and include a no script so that if the JavaScript is disabled at the client's end, they would at least see some kind of a proper message. That's all for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new out of this. If you do, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to my channel. Also, please do let me know if you have any more comments, thoughts, questions in the comment section. I'll be happy to learn from you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.